us warm We can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present that I You guys, it's time. It's time. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new first ever Christmas decorate with me. So I can't believe we are doing this video. I haven't actually done one of these videos before. I am a new homeowner. Yes, I was in my house Christmas last year, but that's, I didn't film it because I just wanted it to be very, oh, hello, little dashed. Last year I just wanted to do it on my own with my mum and like not filming. I just really wanted to enjoy and savour the first time of decorating my very own home. Like it's something that I'll never ever get back again. And obviously like, it's a new thing. I didn't know where things were going, so it was kind of like playing it around. So I cannot believe we are here today! We are here! It's Christmas Day! It's Christmas! I actually, I cannot, I've been out this morning. I went to Starbucks, I got my first eggnog latte, which by the way, if you're worried about trying eggnog latte, if you've never tried it before, if you like custard, you will like it. It's essentially like custard with coffee in it, which sounds a bit questionable, but I promise you it's very good. Oh, do you know what? We need to top off this moment. Hey, Google, play Christmas music. <laughs> but enough of that, otherwise I'm gonna get copyrighted because I could literally stand here and sing all day. I'm in my little element right now, but we ain't got time for that, guys. We need to get decorating, so, Without further ado, please cozy up on the sofa, grab your favorite festive drink of choice, light those festive candles, and enjoy this decorate for Christmas with me 2022. So this morning I popped in to get that eggnog latte, and I actually also did pop into Primark because I wanted to pick up a few more things for Christmas decorating, and I also got some gifts and stuff. I won't show you guys all of that, but I did get some bits that I'm going to need today. I might have also got Jerry some little antlers. I just, they're actually like mini versions. So cute. So like I got this, for example, which I'm gonna be putting out, which is a fig and frankincense reed diffuser. Then I grabbed these coasters just because I really liked them. I thought they were super simple. So they just looked like this and they were only £2.50, I believe. Oh, two pound, there you go. And you get four in there. So I thought we could put these in the front room. And then really quickly, this came today as well. I placed an order on the White Company just to get, because I have to have every single Christmas, the Fireside Reed Diffuser from the White Company. This is the most gorgeous scent. So I tend to have this in the hallway. This will see me through all the way to the new year as well. And then I'll have like these cheaper scents or something in the bathroom, just because this is, uh, this is my favourite scent. I will buy this thing every single year. I'll link it down below. And then I also picked up, this is new this year. It's the Glass Bell 6 uh, CM. Basically, if you haven't seen, or if you don't follow me over my home Instagram, which you should do, by the way, um, my tree, my main tree, is very minimal, and it's basically full of just white company decorations and like odds, oh, it's so cute, like little odd ones, and I usually get a bauble, at least one bauble from the white company. Last year, I did pick up quite a few, because obviously it was my first time, my first tree, I needed to buy a lot, but each year, I'm gonna buy one. And this is the one I chose this year. I think it's a new design and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And then I actually just found this in the cupboard and I wanted to show it you all. So we went to Las Vegas this year and at the time, bear in mind I went in April, I actually picked up a Christmas decoration. So I've seen this in one of the souvenir shops and I just fell in love with it. Um, and it says Las Vegas on the back. So I'm gonna just change the ribbon to some jute. Um, and we're gonna put that on the Christmas tree as well this year. And then there are a few more little bits that I may have picked up for Christmas. Um, just, just stay there. Okay, yeah. I might have got a few more bits. Okay, this really is the last one, I swear. So, yes, I may have got a few more bigger things for Christmas, didn't we, Jerry? Jerry made me do it. So all of these goodies here are actually from White Stores. You guys will know of White Stores if you've been following my videos for a while. My beautiful outdoor Cambridge fire pit rattan outdoor seating dining set. My goodness, how many words can I get out? The one I showed you in summer, that is where it is from, White Stores. However, 
white stores do the two best seasons summer and Christmas so I'm so glad to say I'm collaborating with white stores on this video to show you some of their amazing Christmas items they have in they have everything from six foot real life nutcrackers all the way through to the accessories you need to store them like the Christmas bags and obviously like your Christmas skirts here to finish them all off literally white stores has got everything so i'll be leaving a link down below and throughout this video you're going to see me unboxing these guys and revealing the most beautiful little bits that i have got so really now without further ado let's get on decorating yeah you ready you ready let's go was the night before Christmas I was closing down for business In my little prison shop When the bell on the door Jingled once more And then time almost came to a stop but somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas song, from this Christmas song. Okay, so the stair garland is done. I'm pretty sure I do have a really nice big bow that goes on the end here, so I need to find that, but I'm still going through the boxes because as you can see, this is the state of the kitchen. So I've just pulled out some of my um, kitchen stuff and then obviously the decorations for the rest of the house. I've got some like cushion covers here. I'm pretty sure I didn't get to put these on. I got them in the Primark sale last year, I, th I think. I can't remember. It also looks like I never used these decorations. I might have picked them up again too late on, but they were from Poundland, I remember. I've got my Victoria's Secret dogs. I just can't let these go. There's something about them, even though I think they're kind of worth a lot of money now if I was to sell them, but um, yeah, I just, I had, I've got a collection of these and I just can't let them go. Anyway, they're the Christmas dogs. I've got my Christmas tree, fresh cut Christmas tree sign that goes up in my filming room. We've got the new stuff there. And then this is just the other stuff I showed you. But how lovely is Norbert the Nutcracker? I cannot, Jerry, you love him, don't you? That's why we put him next to your bed. He's going to look after you. He's going to look after you. He is. And then, JB, Santa Paws is gonna come soon. He is. But you gotta be a good boy, okay? But yeah, I love how this lights up. I thought he might have been plug-in, but he's battery, so it's even better. You can put them literally anywhere. Originally, I had him here, but I think I prefer him there, right next to the tree. I love this tree. I thought I had two of them, but I only have one. But this is from, I think it was Lidl last year. I really hope they bring them back this year. I haven't seen it so far. And then I've popped on these little white company decorations that I got last year. I think they're restocking them again this year, though, as well as on... Here, I've got these little bows. I've just got four of them. They're from the range. And then there are these little bells as well. These are from the White Company, again, that were like a little set of 24 or something that you get for the one price. But yeah, I do love my stair garland. Right, I can't believe the time. And we've not even put one tree up yet, Jerry. Shall we go do the tree? So here is the main tree. I bought this last year from Marks and Spencers. And if I remember rightly, it was the easiest thing in the world to put up. So I've got that to go up. And then I just wanted to show you before I start decorating, these are all of my ornaments. So I made this little container last year. Well, I didn't, the container itself, I think was from Home Bargains, but I made this little illustration with my Cricut last year. You could see it in a uh, Christmas vlog. These are really good if you've got fragile ornaments. So this is literally, 
literally all I put on my main tree. I believe my main tree is six foot. And I really like the rustic style. I don't like tinsel. I don't like beads. I don't like it being overcrowded. I like a good quality ornaments and like this is my tree topper this was handmade i think i got it in home sense last year absolutely love this and then i've got like this glass bauble this was from the white company we have like this really pretty one here too that's from the range these just aren't in here because they're too big got some little booties and then all of these glitter ones are all white company as well and then if we open this up this is my Christmas baubles section. This is an overview of most of my beautiful, unique Christmas baubles. As you can see, I do like the same theme of like silver and neutral. I've got some jute, I've obviously got glitter, glass, uh, a little bit of like natural here, a bit of like wood beads, pampas, bunny tails. I got these off Etsy last year as well. And then my friend Charlie got me this little dash and bubble as well, which I've got to put on the tree. Some little pine cones. These were from the local garden center as well. We've got a J for Divi. These ones here were White Company 2 last year. I think they're still selling these this year. I think they're about six pounds a bubble. But as you can see, they're all kept perfectly. And then the only other thing to show you is I've got my tree skirt here. So this tree skirt, I've actually still got the tags on it, helpfully. This is the Frosted Lake range from B&M and it was 18 pounds. It's a white wicker tree skirt. I absolutely love the white wicker tree skirts. I've got one from white stores as well for upstairs because I love them that much. But yes, let's finally put this together and get decorating. On this Christmas song. So the wreath is up outside the house. I love this wreath. I got it from Primark last year. They haven't done this one this year, they, but they've done quite a few nice ones. But I love this because it's really weatherproof. Like, I think it was super affordable as well. It might have been like six or 10 pounds max. I realized that in my wreath bag is where I've stored all of my other bits and bobs. So I did have a nice big bow for the end here. So I need to just attach that there. I then also have another 
long garland but i think i can't remember how i did this one i did i do it for, i think i did it all the way up now i think about it because i wanted to do it here and then i have this, uh, this adorable little bottle brush tree on this like plank of wood i can't remember where i got this from i don't remember where i put this either last year but we're gonna jimmy we're both covered in glitter aren't we now especially your nose i can't remember where i put this last year but I have to find a place for it. I've done a few other tweaks that you guys obviously haven't seen, like my little mantle here. I actually would love to put that there. Actually, I'm going to put that there. TV unit there, and then I have a nice little just simple middle bit here. Obviously the tree. I'll go over all of this in detail, but I'm just kind of doing bits and bobs. I'm showing you guys most of it, but obviously if I showed you everything, I would be here. This video would be like three hours long. I've already been decorating for three hours. <laughs> I think I'm going to put the rest of the garland up here. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the tree upstairs. Okay, so I did the garland off camera. And this is what I decided to do. I think it looks so nice because I'm kind of stuck. I think I could cut this with wire cutters if I wanted to. But I just kind of like the way that that looks and the overall... I don't know, does it look strange? I think it looks, it looks nice because it kind of goes, just frames the entrance to the... Oh, to the front room. Oh my goodness, I love this. Okay, I definitely need to grab just a few more of these. And I ideally would like some more bells. But I quite like this garland just as is. Because obviously you've got like frosty tips. You've got little bits of glittery ones. ones. So I just kind of like it how it is. I wish I could have lights on them. Because obviously I feel like it looks quite dark. But I have, this is the only problem. I've got no sockets at all. Like along this side. I've got nothing at the top of the stairs on this side. It's only on the other side. So there's nothing I can do. But... Oh, I do like it. I really, really like it. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call it a day here. It has been so, so long and so much to do. As much as I love this, it is very, like, high intensity because I'm constantly thinking about where things are going. Obviously, I have to do a massive clean right now. But don't worry, this video is not over. I need to finish off and I need to do the upstairs tree. So you're going to see that in the next clip. So cue the next day. And we are back. It is another day now and I'm ready to finish up this decorating. I thought I'd just jump on though because I actually did some decorating and changes in the dining room that I did off camera but that I very much want to show you. Now I can't show you the actual dining table or too much of it because I have a surprise coming in my next vlog of some new furniture that I've got for the dining room. So that is gonna have to wait i'm afraid till the next video but don't worry it's double upload in november so you don't have to wait very long but what i did want to show you is my two new little additions to the family here is ralph and ralph jr oh my goodness you guys these are absolutely adorable jerry would you like to come show them size comparison why don't you go back my man so there we go there's the jerry man and there's the Ralphs. So this is Ralph and this is Ralph Jr. They're very excited to join the family. These two guys are from White Stores as well. So apart from Norbert, which I have actually also moved into the dining room over here, we have got these two guys. I picked them up in white. You can also get them in the normal wicker color as well, I believe. And they may also do gray. I need to double check. But I will link these guys down below. I love them. So I obviously have them inside, but they are also outdoor compatible too. And then the sun has decided to beam in, but I have moved Norbert over over here so he gets a little bit of a suntan before Christmas and I've also moved my ginger jar this is from shabby stores um, and I've just put it on this little unit we have to have this unit because it's got all of the stuff for like Jerry like his towel and um, some wipes and stuff for when he goes out and obviously it's it's very wet and everything and our shoes as well to run out to the garage I then have my canvas as usual and just my sideboard over here where I've just put the little stags head and again excuse the nails and everything but I've got to put this on the wall so that is what the dining room area is looking like but as I said I got a very exciting new change in the house new furniture that is on the table so you can't actually see that right now that's coming in the next vlog so let's head upstairs because I am ready to pop up with the new white stores tree on my landing I can't wait to see what this looks like so this is the tree that I got from White Stores. This is the Winter Workshop six foot pre-lit pinion pine artificial Christmas tree. And the fact that this is pre-lit is, I learned my lesson guys, I really did. And I promise you this, if you are in the market for a new Christmas tree, wherever that may be from, 
always get pre-lit like it's just it just takes that annoying factor out of it and i really p enjoy picking up the tree usually when i lived at home we used to put up the tree and i used to hate putting in all of the like things you have to hook in then put all the lights on and then i enjoyed the decorating bit but pre-lit means you don't have to worry it just pops up and you can enjoy decorating so i'm gonna unbox this and then i also got to go with it the white rattan tree skirt so they do these tree skirts in different circumferences does it say which one i got here 60 centimeter round i'm pretty sure they did a 70 or an 80 i can't remember but it depends obviously on what size tree you get this tree is more narrow that's what i wanted to go for because obviously we're on my landing i don't want to take up a ton of space if i don't have to i don't mind it being tall but i didn't want it to be too wide it comes also in the brown rattan I believe and also grey so we're gonna set this up and then I've got a bunch of decorations from last year that I've kept there and there's some more in that box so without further ado let's cue the time lapse three two one Up this morning. And here is the tree. I'm so sorry about the exposure. It's because the sun has decided to blare through even though it was raining earlier. But this is what the tree is looking like. I wanted to show you it before I decorated it. The quality of this tree is absolutely fantastic. As you'll be able to see, these are like rubber ends. So within the tree, they've got the normal kind of Christmas tree feeling branches that you kind of just spray out just to make it a little bit more fuller inside but the actual branches on the tips are, are that rubber so it just looks so real this is also the perfect size for this space so obviously it looks very bare at the moment because it needs to be dressed so it's now the fun part to decorate but just before i do i am also going to hang on my sensicles if you haven't heard about these guys these are the most incredible things if you are like me and you have a fake tree these make them smell exactly like a real tree. So I picked up two of these from B&Q the other day. I've got one for up here and the other one I'm going to pop on downstairs as well. So the house is going to stink of white winter fur. I looked outside my window with children lighting up the Christmas tree And the snow is falling It reminds me of the good times Those winters we would spend just you and me Okay, so the tree is decorated minus the topper, but let's put it on for the first time and see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. It's so bright, it's so love. Oh my goodness, I've, let me turn off these lights. That is just incredible. Now I do have this topper, which I got from B&M a few years ago, I think, maybe two years ago. This is still in store now, but it is 10 pounds. And look, I paid 6.99 for this. Um, I'm pretty sure it was like two years ago. But as beautiful as that is, I actually have this tree topper, which I got from the White Company, and I just love how minimal it is. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use that on this tree. So guys, that is gonna go ahead and conclude the first ever Decorate With Me for Christmas 2022. I hope you guys have enjoyed this relaxing video, obviously a mixture of a bit of vlogging, time lapse and just some nice Christmas tunes to get you in the festive spirit. It's officially December next week and I am so ready for the festive season. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because December means triple uploads are coming your way. Loads of Christmas content, gift ideas, days out, goodies, etc, etc. I will leave you all to it. I hope you're having a fabulous November and I have a fabulous December and Merry Christmas. Stay beautiful. Ciao. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a 
present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it.